Watch him disturbing that shot. Because that's a dunk, usually. He's trying to uh, run dunking. Right. He doesn't really have the oh. skill to make that kind of play. <laughs> On Tucker hangs, missed it, but James will go to the free throw line. Now, as you can see, we just watched three different basketball players perform a basketball move and get fouled for it. Now, what's something that all of these players have in common? Well, it was LeBron, Shea Gilch Alexander, and Joel Embiid. These are superstar players. And something else that those three players have in common is that those were very questionable fouls. And in my near decade of watching NBA basketball, I've noticed that there's something and we call it a superstar call. Now what is a superstar call? A superstar call refers to the situation where referees may be perceived to give favorable treatment to star players, often rewarding them with more lenient foul calls or granting certain decisions due to their status and reputation in the league. The two things I want to know is that if this is a real thing, and if it is a real thing, why do these superstars get these certain calls and certain treatments from refereeing? The first thing I decided to do was to look at the top 20 free throw attempt leaders in the NBA. Now the list includes names like Paolo Bancaro, DeMar DeRozan, Jalen Brunson, Jaron Jackson Jr. These are a lot of names that are on the brink of superstardom, but are not exactly superstars yet. But don't get me wrong, this list includes mostly superstars with names like Joel Embiid, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Shea Gilgis Alexander at the top three. Now there are different types of dudes that get to the foul line for different types of reasons and we can break it down into two categories. Dudes like Giannis Antetokounmpo, Joel Embiid, LeBron James, Paolo Bancaro, those are brute forces that drive to the basket a lot and are so physically imposing that it always looks like they're getting fouled. Then you have the other type of player like Trey Young, Luka Doncic, Shea Gilgis Alexander, DeMar DeRozan, James Harden. These dudes know how to manipulate the refs, manipulate the rules, and manipulate all types of things to make it look like they're getting fouled or to make opponents draw fouls on them. But the common denominator with the top 20 at least is that these dudes are all superstars and are fringe superstars. So this list doesn't really give us a good understanding of if superstar players are more favored to get calls. If you're one of the better players on your team and you're taking a lot of shots, you have a high usage rate, you're naturally going to get to the free throw line a lot. So the next thing I decided to do was to actually do some research. So I was watching other NBA videos and I ran into an article by Peter Lee. He took the two minute report of every NBA game from 2015 to 2019 and he differentiated the calls between the superstar players and the non-superstar players. Now if you don't know what the last minute report is, they take the last two minutes of the game and go back and decide what the refs missed out on and what the refs didn't miss out on. And in conclusion, it was true. Superstars receive preferential treatment on offense and defense compared to stars and non-starters. They are more likely to receive incorrect foul calls on offense and commit incorrect no calls on defense. Now he did point out this was a small sample size as the last minute review only takes the last two minutes of the game, but we all watch the NBA, we all generally see what's going on. Superstars are benefited once it comes to the refs. So the real question is, why is that? Me personally, I don't think games should be fixed. I feel like the game should be called the same way for everybody, whether you're a superstar or a role player. If a role player is standing there and he's actually not even touching the superstar, why did that superstar get the benefit of the doubt? That doesn't make sense to me. John Sally was asked about this. Now, if you don't know who John Sally was, John Sally was a former role player who had to deal with this himself. He knew what it meant to go up against guys who suddenly had the rest in their back pocket. He doesn't see a problem with it. He says that the referees are simply trying to allow the league's best players to put on a show for the fans and calling too many fouls on them will prevent them from going all out. For example, Michael Jordan's game-winning shot against the Utah Jazz in Game 6 of the 1998 Finals. Jordan pushed off on that Jazz player. He most definitely did, and they wouldn't dare call that. So we know that star players get treated differently. And what can we do to prevent this? Now, we have to look at this from the referees' eyes. The referees are real humans. And NBA players are also real humans, and they have reputations. And in the grand scheme of things, it may not be as bad as we all think it is. Who hates when a game winner is a couple of free throws? A lot of people really hate that, and that is the refs dictating that. As a ref, would you rather let the dudes play, or would you rather make every correct call? As a fan in a close game, would you rather have the ref swallow the whistle, or would you rather have them give them every single call? 
if you were a ref and you saw LeBron James driving toward the rim, and then you saw Tory Craig doing the same exact thing LeBron did driving toward the rim, who do you think you're more likely to call a foul on? Some superstars get hacked all game. Dudes like LeBron and Giannis, the, the physical tier of free throw shooters, those dudes are so physical that every time that they drive to the basket, it's a foul. But they're not going to sit there and call it every time due to the value of the game. We're not going to ruin the game like that. So yes, we figured out that a superstar call does exist, but is there anything that we can really do about it? No. Referees are humans. Humans make mistakes. Humans hold people to a different level than other humans, and it's just the reality of the situation. So yes, even though I hate it for the game, and it shouldn't be played like that, I am not personally mad at it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about Superstar Calls. And if you like basketball content, if you enjoy stuff like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Join the family. We're building the community. We're going to work to 1,000 subscribers. Thank y'all so much for watching, but I'm out, man. Peace.